Okay, in this video, I want to start to show you how to pull out large amounts of data from your Excel spreadsheet. In the last video, we grabbed individual cells, and that's not really all that practical. I mean, it's cool. It's a good way to get started, but you're going to want to pull out a lot of data. And there's a lot of different ways to do this, depending on exactly what you want to do. You can pull out whole columns, whole rows. You can pull out iterations of different columns. You can pull out different ranges. And we're going to look at all of those things. But in this video, we're going to start just by grabbing a column, an entire column. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's first comment out the stuff from the last video. And now let's uh, grab a whole column. And to do this, let's create a variable. I'm going to call this column underscore A. We want to grab all of column A. You can call it anything you want, but it should be descriptive. And, and column A is what we're going to be grabbing. So that's what I'll name it. And here we just call the WS worksheet. And again, there's our brackets. And inside of here, we just want to call all of column A. So that's really all there is to that. Now let's print this out onto the screen and see exactly what this is. So let's go ahead and save this and come back over here and run it. And you can see, uh oh, it's all this stuff again, right? So you'll notice this is a tuple and we could tell it is a Python tuple, which is a data type, right? Sort of like a list. And we could tell it is because it's surrounded in parentheses right here and here. So in order to get the items in the tuple, all of these things, we need to loop through the, the tuple and print out each thing individually. So let's do that real quick. And we can use a, a basic for loop for that. So for loop. So let's go for cell in column A. And column A is obviously this. Cell is just a variable name I invented just now in order to sort of keep track of all the stuff inside of our tuple. So now we can just print out cell. Now, if we want to use an F string, we can. And let's wrap this whole thing in brackets. And then outside of here, we could put backslash n. And backslash n stands for new line. So this will print out each item of our tuple on its own line, right? That's what this n does. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Now, boom, it's printing them all out one at a time. And it's still got this thing from the last time. So we need to comment that out uh, right here. In fact, let's just delete that. So, okay. That's cool, but it's still not that useful. Instead of cell, we want cell dot value, right? It's almost always dot value when you're getting the actual value from the cell. So if we go ahead and save this and run it one more time, let me clear the screen. And when we do, boom, names, John, Aaron, Sam, Tina, Josh, and it's putting a, a new line between each one. I guess we really probably don't need that. So we can, if we want to take that off. And in fact, we don't need any of this. If we're just going to call cell dot value, we could probably get away with that. And let's clear the screen. Yeah, and it puts it on its own line by itself. So we don't have to use that new line thing. So okay, that's all the stuff from that column. Now if we want to switch this, all we have to do is change this to for instance, column B. If we save this and run it, we see favorite colors, blue, red, pink. Now we can do anything we want with these things. We can print them onto the screen. We can, you know, whatever we want. And that's cool. So this is a very sort of unsophisticated way to do this. We're just going to grab everything from the column, it, but it's sort of the first step in understanding how to pull large amounts of data out of an Excel spreadsheet. So that's sort of where we start. We can also just do rows. If we change this to one, right? If we save this and run it, let me clear this screen. We get names and favorite colors right? Because that is row one, right? We're just calling the whole row. If we call seven, which is Mary in black, we could do that just right here. Boom. We want to call seven, save this. We can run it. Mary and black and just that easy. So that's how you grab whole columns. That's how you grab whole, whole rows. In the next video, I'll show you how to grab ranges, very specific ranges, and that'll be coming up in the next video.